What's good, Barside family? This is Cypher, and we are back again in the Lion's Den. And yes, if you haven't seen it, I do have Quavo's uh, tribute to Take Off. His last album he just did called Rocket Power up on my channel. You should check it out. Um, and, and spoilers, it was great. Great album. And now we're here with Russ. Russ and Santiago. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Cypher. I'm from Farside TV. I make music and listen to music so you don't have to. And I do reviews. So you should subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Subscribe to this channel and just hit that bell for notifications so you can get more videos like this. Um, I'm completely unbiased and I'm pretty natural when it comes to these things. I make music myself and I know what to look for. And I know what we're trying to hear. And if it's bumping, it's bumping. If it's trash, it's trash. Simple as that. There's nothing else to it but that. And uh, yeah, we're about to get into it. Uh, if you don't know Russ, you should. Um, one of my favorite artists that are big but aren't big. Um, independent realm, I would say, more so. Uh, I do like Russ. I feel like he should stick to doing music instead of speaking publicly sometimes. I think he rubs people the wrong way a lot, but he makes a lot of sense. He's been doing his own thing for a long time when it comes to making music. Makes his own beats a lot. Uh, reps his own stuff, writes it, engineers it, produces it. He does it all. He does it all. And so that's why he reminds me so much of myself, because you'd be like a young person on the grind, trying to get this thing going, and it's like, it's a struggle, because you're just by yourself, and it's all you. So I get it. But yeah, he is a top-tier lyricist, so don't get it mixed up, and he'd be having some hits, so we about to get into it. So, with all the talking, now that you're subscribed and you're ready to listen, we're going to get into it. So, uh, Russ... First track is See You Soon. I know what I gotta do. Keep on following the moon. I'ma see you soon. I'ma see you That was a nice intro, by the way, but I did forget to mention he can sing. So, yes, he's a rapper. He produces. He has great bars, great lyrics. But he also can actually sing, sing. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. I like hearing projects from him and Jid and Big Crit. And it's just it's, it's a small group of people I like to listen to that I like that. But it's like it works. Corday, you know what I'm saying? Like. They got more. They're multifaceted, so expect to hear some great things on here. Next track, Smooth. Hey. So now it's my turn to get some. Next month, shows line up, gonna gross M's. Did it high randoms, I get jobs to my close friends. We in Paris like we spoke French. My parents got no rent. Son is doing well, life is smooth. Universe, believe me. Now me and my mom are sipping wine in Santorini. Man, I used to walk in dealerships that act like they can't see me. He's a huge hip hop head, you know what I'm saying? A lot of New York back boop stop, um, back beat bomb boop stop, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's 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 crowded his music for a little while now, but he's definitely diverse, so don't get it twisted. Uh, that was a decent track. I like it. Uh, he's basically saying that he's living life better now. Uh, the situation's different. His life's different. And he's on the up and up. So that's where we at. Uh, next track, Fraud. Let's see. Am I a fraud? I me instead I got him saying they hate rush. Who am I if mom and dad split because I funded it? Who am I if I want to be done with this? Who am I if I need help but I can't ask for it because I feel like a fucking bitch? Who am I if I'm unsure of? Whom I find have doubts. I'm lost. Yeah. Whom I find not perfect. Whom I find me, I'm scared. Who am I find me, I get. But I never lose. There is that I can't undo. That was a pretty smooth song. I don't think that's him singing on that one. I think he got somebody singing on there. I'm not sure. If so, if it is him, bruh, kill it. Next track, no more. I think I've had enough for this game. Put a little too much trust in this game. I ain't having fun no more. I don't even think I'm in love no more. Mm. Never thought I'd say goodbye. White flag in my hand, I'm a wave it high. Man. But I'm bruised up. 
up in a beat down, crying in the press every day of the week now. I wish it ended the night, I got nothing left, left, left. Man, I really feel him on this song. This is my favorite right now because I really feel him on this. Like, he's basically saying he's not in love with the rap game no more. He he worked so hard to get to this point and to get to where he thought was the promised land just for it to be too much weight on his shoulders, too much going on, too much stress, too much BS involved in the industry. He's like, I'm, I don't want it no more. And it's sad and disheartening to hear that because it's so true and because you have a lot of aspiring artists wanting to be where he's at, thinking that that's the mecca, but it's not. He's basically telling you it's it's cool and, and I, and I, you know, and I think I just glitched. Let me start over. He's basically telling you it's good in theory, but in execution it's not. It's a famed fable that wants to be sought after, but at the end of the day, you're still lonely. You still have the same problems you did before you got on. You know what I'm saying? So that's a, that's a nice... Nice jewel to drop, so I appreciate that, Russ. Um, next track, Empty. Hey. Hey. Smooth. I want freestyle now, look at that. Yeah, I'm hey. feeling empty every day now. I don't know what the fuck is happening. I'm running fast, but I feel way down. Woo. Nowhere I go escapes the sadness. I'm feeling empty every day now. Man, I don't know what the fuck is happening. Man. I'm running fast, but I feel way down. Nowhere I go escapes the sadness. Man. But instead I'm left with nothing. Cause you told me that I wasn't good and I'm not I'm feeling empty every day. Now. I don't know, that might be my new favorite. That one was, that felt like a hood classic. Like one of the ones you and your boys come up with when y'all trying to get on. It's like one of the ones you ride to in the projects with bumping the 808 in the truck. Like that's how it sounds, like a homegrown sound. With the double layer voice vocals. Man. Russ, man, grounded, grounded young man, and I appreciate his music. I think that's my gonna be my new favorite right now. Next track, I love you, boy. Your mama far away, 29 years later, she regrets that she stayed. You were doomed from the start, you were hurt, not your size. There's a wound in your heart, survival mode, you're traumatized. For real. I love you. Mm. Come do you. Only to be left feeling less than before. Didn't have the tools to manage stress. You're at war with your thoughts from the get go. Anything you wanted, went and got it because you said so. Plaques, women fighting over you like Shevchenko. Seven figure checks, private jet. Nice song, lovely song. Very nostalgic. And man, I like that sample, man. Shh. Russ, that's the Russ I miss. That's the Russ I remember from some years ago. That's the rest I always want to hear, and that's the rest I hope he continues to be. Nice track. Next track is Enough. Let's get it. Oh, hey, I think uh, iTunes is glitching again. Let me reset it. And five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I see what's happening, guys. So I'm having technical difficulties because the internet decided to try to shoot me out. So instead of being like a professional and like stopping the video and editing it to where everything comes together smoothly, I'm going to be the proud person I am and continue to record and not edit this part out and wait for this internet to kick back in, which it should because I just reset the parameters and it should be there now so we'll, we'll let's just see what's going on here and sometimes it'll just randomly kick out you know that's just internet for you you know what i'm saying you have a good signal and everything's going well and then just it wants to do its own thing so now it's connected and now we're rebooting and now we're going to see where we're at so 
Bear with me, please. And let's see where we can go. Because it did kind of pause like everything. I don't like that. Sorry. It's coming up now. Okay. Can I can I have my album review back? Cool. Okay, now, like I was saying, enough. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't right within, was lying, trying to find a slim opening. The cope of when realities are hopelessness, the casualties are broken, man. Unhappily devoted when they hit me, all the walls were trying to kiss me, they were closing in. I'm soaking in a tub, uh, but how the fuck like did this all happen? Waving, complaining that I'm evading, betraying myself, restraining, enslaved by my past and racing. That ancient indoctrination, I'm blazing whatever's failing and scraping up the remaining. Men know that they only get their flowers at the funeral. We're hardening ourselves instead of guarding ourselves. Suppressed emotions, we're alone, so now we're targeting ourselves. Ourselves. No one to talk to out of pride and fear coming off weak. Some women looking at you lesser if there's tears on your cheek. But if there's tears tattooed, it's something about playing tracks backwards that gets me every time. I just love that effect. I really genuinely do. I don't know what it is. Next track, Adventure. What you gonna do when it doesn't work out how you thought it would? Feels unfair and you wanna turn around, but it's for your own good. Like if you just keep on driving, tried to fight the moment, thought my stars need realigning, told my mama that I quit, told my friends that when I get back from Brazil that this is it. Including friends and family The universe is handing me a reward In disguise of a detour, forcing me to believe more Gratitude help me restore my... So what I got from this track, if I'm listening right, is basically he was off to go discover some things. He went to Brazil and told his friends and family, basically, when he gets back, he's over. He's done. He's done with this rap thing, this hip-hop thing. Um, but then he got reinvigorated, and now he feels like he's back on the path to greatness with this music. It happens that way. It literally happens like that, especially if you're doing everything yourself, if you're an entrepreneur, if you write, rap, mix, sing, Master, like you, all that, you get, you start questioning your own abilities and question, like, is it really worth the effort? Everything that I'm doing and putting all into this, like, is it really worth what I'm trying to do? Am I, am I even going to get it? Am I going to get there? Like, what I'm trying to get to, you know what I'm saying? All that comes into question. So I get them. I feel them on that. So that's where we at. Um, next track is Oasis. Tight, hanging on, I'm a mess. I could have sworn that I was supposed to be going somewhere, but I forget. Losing direction by the minute, I'm tripping, I'm stalling. Feeling like DMS is lately, I'm slipping, I'm falling. Fuck it, I'm born, I'll get back on track tomorrow. I got time, ain't no rush before you know it. it's tomorrow. Damn, defeated, defeated. Don't wanna believe it. Anxiety be in my ass. I'm overeating. I put on 30 pounds of fat friends. Say I'm getting money. If this is rich, then take me back to being broken bummy. I made an independent fortune in my engine's form, but my stress is so on bootleg. Okay, that was cool. Not much to say about that, but it was cool. And then, like, self discovery. Next track, Fatima. I didn't know I then saw you up close. I Someone told me that I shouldn't fight it, shouldn't back out. Tell me how you so patient, so wise, where your soul feels ancient. This love isn't that love, this is that love. It was written and it feels so amazing. Everything I ever did let me. pretty cool uh, it was all right you know what i'm saying i i appreciate him singing but i don't like when he do too much i don't know about that one i don't, I don't know it was cool though um next track distracted let me see
to see my visions come true That don't mean I don't love you Say you understand I need that Promise you I'ma be back and enough for sure I just turn around and come back Fuck that I That's pretty, I like that song. That was a pretty song. That was pretty smooth. I like it. Both parties did their thing. And um, yeah, I mean, so even when he's doing the R&B thing, man, um, I don't know. I'll get to that point when we get done with the album. Let me finish the album first. I'll tell you what I'm thinking. Next track, Tunnel Vision. Lego. Is it really doing it again? It really kicked me out. That's crazy. Why does it keep kicking me out? You really messing with my Rust review right now, and I don't understand why. I feel like that's like an issue though, which means I really need to speed to speed this up. Cause something's going on. I don't know if there's weather around here or what, but I don't like it. <laughs> messing my review. All right, so now we're back up. Let's finish this up. Next song, Tunnel Vision. <laughs> The time to pump these brakes. I don't care how much I love her, how much money that I've made. That wasn't a goal, it never was. I'm trying to see what my zenith is, what it looks like to believe and strengthen all of my weaknesses. A version of me. I want a body that looks sculpted like a statue. I want to not respond to everything if I don't have to. I'm giving shit up that I fucking love today. I yawned. I think that should say enough. But. It was pretty good. Russ is always going to have bars, but no matter what song it is, it just depends on your preference. And these last few songs, I'm not really preferring them, but I get it. Um, next track and final track is The mid, is the Wind. Never be silent, and my connection with myself is my strongest alliance. The anxiety of if I'm going to make it has a hold, but in order to evolve, I got to let go. That was a pretty decent song, and that is it for Russ. That was Russ with Santiago. Um, if I'm being honest, um, so this album was pretty decent. What I like about Russ, let's get the bad stuff out of the way first. First, I don't really care for when he raps. For the most part, it's usually a New York type boom bap beat, boom bap beat, and um, there's nothing wrong with doing that to showcase your talent and showcase where you at. But I feel like he should switch it up sometimes. And when he does the R&B thing, yeah, sometimes he does the Spanish guitar a little too much, that type of aesthetic. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with that, but I feel like if you have the the opportunity and the chance to be more diverse, and you have the resources and tools to be able to be diverse on your own, you should do it. Um, I want to hear you on several different types of beats. I want to hear, hear you on a trap beat, a UK drill beat, a smooth beat, an upbeat beat, beat like... Just switch it up some. No way it's not so comfortable. It's like, I get why you killed that track with them bars. It's comfortable. Something's clearly in my eye, and I'm trying to ignore it, but it's definitely there. Sorry. Anyway, yes, just just uh, just uh venture out. Like he's This is, I think, his 16th, literal 16th studio album. And I don't know, man. Like I'm a fan of Russ, but sometimes he has that effect to where it's like, okay, we get you can rap. And we get you can sing, but I need you to make music that's appealing to the the common human ear. Like, let us know that you can do both by showing it with like musical taste. That's like Nas. Like for years, he has been one of the best rappers ever, easily a top five amongst rap heads, hip hop heads. But it's like the songs don't do him justice because the beats either not that great or the songs not that great. We know you can rap, but we need to hear, like, songs. And I don't mean, like, corny hits. I mean, like, songs. Um, so that's all I'm saying. Other than that, great album. Um, I want to listen to it more in depth, too, later. and Because I know his lyrics are there. And I've been hearing, I've been catching certain stuff that breaks out. But that's my boy. Russ has always been, you know, um, reliable when it comes to hearing great content. So... Don't get me wrong. I'm not sounding like the album. You should definitely go listen to it. And then this reminds me why I had the opportunity. I didn't give Quavo his rating or this rating for this album yet. So 
for this rating for Russ's album, I'll give it a seven out of ten. Um, only because preference wise, you may not really care for it. Um, the messages are definitely there and they're good, but the album starts off pretty strong, but kind of teeters along until it finally ends, and that's not really that high caliber, but it's still good content, so that's why it's a 7 instead of an 8. Um, and as far as Quavo, I'm going to give that one an 8 because of the same reasons, but it's more sonically pleasing than Russ. I'd rather replay a lot of Quavo songs on the album than a lot of songs on this Russ album, to be honest. So that's the difference. So yeah, if you like this review, you know, you can go ahead and like it physically by hitting the, the like button, you know, the thumbs up. I appreciate it. It gets to other people. That's how you. That's how the YouTube algorithm works. You like it. You comment. You engage. You share. You subscribe. And it gets to other people. It sends it to them so they can possibly do the same. And I'd really appreciate it if you did. Because I'm almost at 900. And I'm getting to 1,000. So thank you guys for everything. Thank you for your contribution. And just thank you for your love. So again, it's a cipher. I'm doing this thing. I'm out this thing. I love you guys. Peace.